All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, we have another arcade project. Uh, this is a System 18 board, and the board in question is this, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Now, I went and I picked up this board semi-recently, and it was listed as semi-functioning. But uh, upon getting it here, I found that there was a lot more to the story than what was told. As you can see here, these are the capacitors, and it's probably hard to see the tops of them, but they are all chewed up. Um, on the three corners, on the last corner here, whee, we got a nice snapped wall off one. And uh, it's loose on the inside of that. On top of that, we have another one that's snapped off over here in the front corner. The board seems to have had some repair work done to it. You can see a couple of jumper wires here. This looks like it might actually be stock. Maybe it was something that was done after the board was uh, produced, which isn't uncommon. But having this strap on here has caused the board to flex a bit. And I don't know if you can see, but it's a little bit warped. So. What we're going to have to do is take the, the chips off. We're going to have to replace these capacitors. This is a super capacitor down here. I'd really like to get another one for that. I believe I have one, so I might go ahead and try and replace that. Uh, just to be you know on the safe side, those do have a tendency to leak. But I'm going to have to find some 16 volt, 470 microfarad capacitors. I don't know if I have any of these just readily available. But I'm going to need, uh, let's see, is this the same one? 16, 470, yep. So I'm gonna need one, possibly two, three, four, five, at least five of these. The other ones look semi-okay. The um, super capacitor on that. Uh, these are the Notorious Hitachi chips, which have a uh, battery on the inside. It's a coin cell battery. And once they die, they take the chip with it. But luckily, due to the thanks of um, the was it Sega Resurrection Society? You can get these boards repaired, yay! Um, and you can see there's another jumper wire here that's going from that super capacitor, as well as I think I saw something else around the back here. It looks like uh, some either burned or scraped away traces that somebody had tried to resolder, but you can see there. Uh, these ones here, these ones, and these ones, those are kind of a different color. This one actually looks like it's broken, so I'm going to have to get my tester out and check the continuity of that, see how that is. We're going to have to remove this strap here and take all the chips out and resort them and give it a shot. I tried to plug this thing in and it came on for about a split second and uh, just started glitching out super bad. So uh, just to um, kind of avoid making this thing any worse than it is. I just turned it off and I'm not going to try and turn it back on until we get all this stuff kind of cleaned up here and replaced. So what I'm going to do first is go around and see if I can find some of these uh, 470 microfarad capacitors. If I can find a set of four of them, I'll replace these four and then another one here for the, t the front. And then we'll go around and start changing out or taking out all of these socketed chips, try and clean them out, put them back in and uh, hopefully have a well hopefully a working board but <laughs> that's yet to be seen but uh, I'm gonna get on that and I'll be back in a little bit alright so as you can see here we've replaced all of the capacitors on the main board here and I've cleaned up and reseated all of these chips you can take a look at some of the bottoms of these oh, this one doesn't look too bad but uh, some of the other ones look kind of ground up I don't know what happened to the other one. There was another one here, and the top was actually really bad on it. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, we'll move on to the main board here and try and give that a shot next. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see in the top corner here, we've replaced that capacitor. We're going to have to go around here because it looks like there was some electrolytic fluid that was leaking from the last one. We'll just go around the uh, side here and try and clean this up. Uh, over here we have our super capacitors. These are probably difficult to read, but 5.5 volts. You can see there. So we're going to take this one here and replace this one. I'll put the new one in. It's a little bit smaller, but uh, it's the same rating. So that should make this last a little bit longer here. Um, 
hopefully or oh, eventually I'll be able to go around this whole board and replace all the caps but for right now I want to see if I can even get this thing to start up so uh, just the small stuff first and then we'll go from there but next step here is to replace this super capacitor sitting here and uh, we'll get on that right now okay so as you can see here we've got our new super cap in we've got the old one taken out now uh, I've reseated all of the chips here except for the Hitachi chip. I'm just going to leave that the way it is. And the last thing to do is to take a look at the back of this board here, which uh, if you remember at the beginning of the video, said there were some traces over here that needed to be kind of patched up or taken a look at. So I'm going to go over here and try and clean these traces up and double check the bottom of the board, make sure there's no pins that are touching because that can also be a big problem. So we'll get on that, try and go over the section here here and then we'll try and power this thing up and see how it goes. I'll be back in a bit. Okay so we've got the top board plugged back in, everything else is connected and we're about to turn this on and see what we get. I haven't turned this on yet so it's gonna hope for the best here. Well it looks like the screen is kind of coming in for the most part. It's looking pretty good. Is there any sound? Does it seem like there's any sound? Well, the picture is back, which is good. It's got a good picture. It has no sound, though. Huh. That's pretty good and bad I suppose. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to look at that. Well the picture's good. Really really good. That's awesome. But there's no sound. Huh. I don't know what's going on with this. It's kinda wacky. Why is there no sound? Something out of whack here? I don't know. I might have to check the dip switch settings or something. Maybe the settings are off, but uh, it's got video, which is totally cool. Just uh, just no sound. So what I'm going to do here is take this apart and see what I can figure out, see what else is going on here, and we'll go from there, see if, uh, see if we can get some sound on it, and then I'll put up another video here. So I'll, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I can't believe I did it, but uh, when I put the Z80 uh, chip back in, I actually had it one pin too far in. And I don't know how I did it. Normally, I double check this and make sure everything's okay, but it was one pin up. And I know that's the problem. Well, it's got to be the problem for it. Let's just hope it's uh, not bad. <laughs> Hopefully, it's still working. Give this a shot here. Try this one more time. Hopefully we have sound this time. I was digging the picture. The picture looks really good. I mean, it looks all perfect for the most part. Just the uh, the sound. Before it would come up with this, but it was a little bit flickery and garbled. So, oh, there we go. It's alive. Ooh. Moonwalker. Moonwalker is alive look at that fantastic like before this was all garbled I mean everything was just a garbled mess and uh, the first stage you couldn't see anything everything was all scratched up like there were no background graphics here at all it was just a bunch of numbers Sweet. Let's try a couple coins. It's alive, guys. So, uh, you can expect some videos to come here soon. But just figured I'd show you guys another working arcade PCB. But, yeah. Fantastic one, too. <laughs> but that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.